everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I've got a wardrobe tour. Well, kind of wardrobe tour meets closet confidential tag because I haven't got a huge room. I've only got a small kind of wardrobe, so it's not like cribs so where I can show you around and, you know, cruise through all my shoe racks and stuff. Oh, I wish. But I thought I'd show you kind of a few of my favourite pieces, tie in with some of those questions because that's quite a nice way of talking through things, I think. I wanted to do like a new additions to my wardrobe video and then realised I've only bought about three items in the last three months, or oh, two months. Um, regardless, it wouldn't make for a very long video, so even shorter than last week. So, let's get going, and I'm going to talk to you about some of my favourite wardrobe pieces, well, clothes. So, the first question is, what is the oldest item in your wardrobe? And after, kind of, I'm a bit of a hoarder, basically. I like to hold on to things, because I get quite sentimental about clothes, which isn't a great habit when you acquire as much as I do. But the oldest thing is probably this dress, which I bought for my prom in, oh my god, quite a long time, maybe five years ago, four years ago? Joe's to try to like, seven years ago, six years ago, ten years ago, no. 2010! <laughs> 2010, six years ago, so Joe's going, <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> what? what does that mean? Okay, so this was for my prom in 2010. I actually picked this up from Zara, and it was one of those weird pieces that I picked up, and since I bought it, I've never seen anyone else in it. I've never seen it in stores after that day. I never, it was kind of like a weird item. I was like, oh, I loved it, bought it, never saw it again. But I got this for my prom because at the time I was really obsessed with Florence and the Machine. I thought anything kind of floral with tool, 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 I never can say that, I can never say that word. But this was just the perfect thing and I loved it, I felt amazing in it and I can't get rid of it. I'm sure that I will have another use for it one day but I just, I'm quite attached to it and I had quite big red hair when I wore it. I was very like inspired by everything that she did. So yeah, this is definitely my oldest thing, six years, which isn't actually that old. Seven years. Seven years. <laughs> but yeah, it's not that old. Six years, it is it? Five years. Six Joe, stop it to me. <laughs> Let me make my mistakes. <laughs> but yeah, it's not like the oldest thing, it's not like a baby girl or something, but um, yeah, that's that. <laughs> okay, so for my newest item in my wardrobe, that has to be these boots, which, oh my god, they are my favourite thing. Um, they're not to everyone's taste, they are, they're not the most subtle shoes, um, and they are the statement piece in any outfit, but I'm in love with them. I bought them recently, they're by a designer called Camilla Elphick and I, I've loved her shoes for ages and I was kind of, I saw these ages ago and I was deliberating them because they aren't cheap um, and I tried to be really quite sensible with my purchases but fortunately they were reduced in the sale, they went down to half price and I saw them and they only had the size above my size left. Um, so I bought them on impulse, which was probably quite irresponsible, but I then read up lots of reviews and people like get the next size up because they're quite tight. The leather is really, really soft, so you can kind of wear them straight away, you have to wear them in, which is fantastic. Um, but they're, I just love them, they're kind of like my David Bowie boots, um, or Alexa Chung, or Man Repeller shoes, you know, they cover a whole range of bases, but I really, really love them, I've worn them quite a lot already so I know they weren't like an unnecessary buy, I know that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of them so yeah, these are my favourite thing, even the way I'm like holding them, I'm like yeah, I love them. Okay, so this is the most pricey item in my wardrobe and for this I've pulled out this dress which is by Topshop Unique, um, I bought it last summer which was another thing that I had to really deliberate and I really thought about it. Um, I'd seen it on quite a lot of people, I'd seen it in magazines, and I thought it was a great shape. And I was like, I don't really wear purple a lot, is it going to be the right thing for me? And it turns out it was, without a doubt, the most worn thing in my wardrobe last year. Um, I, the cost per wear is probably down to several pence now because I've literally not stopped wearing it. It's nice and tight, so it's great in summer, and it's just got such a lovely shape to it. It's got like fabric underneath, so it just sits really nice. It's quite thick, it's not flimsy and it's just really really well cut but I'm so glad I bought it um, often the things I do spend a bit more money on do turn out to be my most worn pieces so I'm going to try and be a bit more considerate with my shopping and I don't really impulse buy all that much so this was probably my most expensive but most loved item so I think that kind of balances it out I think 
So, the next question is the most affordable item. I don't know why I did that like I was in like Destiny's Child or Charlie's Angels. But, um, okay, moving on. Um, the most affordable item that I've worn a lot. Probably this little blouse from ASOS or a lot of white shirts. Um, they're something I tend to just pick up kind of almost on impulse. Um, I, if I see a cute white blouse or a white shirt or something with nice details and for this it had nice panelling. It's um, ASOS, I think the ASOS with Megan Ellaby collection, um, who's amazing. Megan is ama an amazing fashion blogger, so if you haven't seen her blog, check that out because she is so cool. Oh my god, I wish I was her. But um, anyway, regardless, white shirt. This is probably the most affordable slash kind of most worn thing. Um, with things like this and striped tops, I tend to buy quite a few of them, but they are on rotation so often that it's kind of okay. Um, this was probably about £30, so it's not the cheapest thing in the whole world, but then it's still quite reasonable for a nice, well-made top, and it's got a nice button detail at the back, so you can do that up as you would a top. Yeah. Cool, so my biggest bargain is probably this skirt from Antipodium. Um, Antipodium, if you're not aware of them, are a really cool brand. I'm not sure if they're, I think they're London based. They are London based. Um, but they, they do fashion week presentations. They're so cool and their pieces um, aren't that cheap. They're on Urban Outfits and ASOS, so they're not overly expensive. But again, they're the kind of pieces you have to think about before purchasing. Or at least I do anyway. Anyway, this skirt was in their collection maybe two or three years ago. Quite a while ago now, um, but I loved it for ages. It's the perfect kind of fit and flare skirt. It's got amazing panelling. It's a really cool leopard print. It's not too garish. It's quite subtle, despite the fact that you know it's leopard print. But I, it's got pockets. Amazing. Sorry, pockets. Big, big, big seller for me. Um, but I waited for this for quite a while, and it went down and down and down in sale. And I kind of got it at the last moment. Um, which I was really proud of because it's definitely one of those pieces that I wear all the time. It's great with like a black roll neck, it's great with a really pretty blouse, it kind of goes with everything. I did a post on it with a jumper that was pretty much coordinating with the colour of the skirt which I really liked as well. Um, what I'll probably do anyway in this video is probably link to any posts that have any of the items in so you can see how I've styled it and I can link to similar items or the item if it's still about because I know there are a few things like the top shirt dress has gone into sale so there might be a few left as well which I will really resent you for because I had to pay full price anyway yeah this skirt definitely my biggest bargain because I waited and I got it and I love it so yeah so another question is what are the three fake what are sorry bad girl in there what are your three favorite items in your wardrobe right now this is quite hard because my style is quite changeable. It changes day to day, kind of what I'm into at the moment, who I'm reading, blog wise, what magazines I've picked up, what music I'm listening to. So it's very dependent on my mood. I don't kind of go to one item again and again and again. I do try and mix it up because my wardrobe has such a lot of colour in it. It's not just black or white. It's what kind of day it is outside. If it's rainy, if it's sunny, like if it's hot, cold, it literally depends. But because the weather has consistently been pretty rubbish over the last few weeks, I'm looking at it now and it's, I don't, that's why I keep looking out the window, I'm like, Ugh. Um, it's been really rubbish, it's raining, um, I've been wearing the same kind of things over and over because I think this weather makes me quite lazy, I just forget how to dress and I'm just like wearing jeans and this jumper, so these are probably two of my most worn items without even moving, but if you want something a little bit more imaginative that I have been wearing, first thing is this skirt which is a little suede button up from ASOS. I kind of, I haven't, I didn't have a black button up skirt for a really long time. I know in my capsule wardrobe video, I was talking about a denim one and a little suede one, but because the suede one's quite a bright color, it wasn't always appropriate for everything I wanted. It didn't go with everything in my wardrobe. So I picked up this one, which again was half price on ASOS. I think it was 55 and it's down to 27. So it's really good value. Um, I actually bought it in the tall version, which, if you know, I'm not tall, I'm quite the opposite, but because some of their mini skirts can be quite mini, I decided to get this one in hope there would be a bit of extra length, and I was right. So the fit is the same on the hips or the waist, um, everything is the same, but the length is a little bit longer, so that's really good. Um, and I think it only comes in tall as well, so it's like that, that works out. And it's got two little pockets here. As you can see, I don't know why people describe things when they're in front of you, but I'm going to talk to you about it a bit more. Um, but you know, it's just a really great little skirt. I've worn it so much. It's great with little black tights. Um, and I really like the like the 
stitching on it. I think it makes it a little bit more interesting than just a standard suede or cord little button up skirt. So yeah, love that. The next thing is this leopard coat from Mango. This is another thing that I was deliberating for a while, seeing a lot of bloggers in it, seeing a lot of cool people in it, or not cool people, but just people in leopard coats. And I like this one because it's not too furry, it's not like a teddy bear coat, it's quite a thin faux fur. Um, so I really like that. It's quite, yeah, it's not too thick so you can just chuck it on. And it's just, yeah, just a nice subtle jacket and you can wear it over one side as well if you're feeling cool. But um, yeah, I wear that all the time, it's great with jeans, little skirts, just like that one. And it's quite light so you can wear it when it's not too hot or too cold because you can layer up as well. Okay, and the other item I've been loving this one are these little boots from ASOS. Um, they're kind of like a, a dusty rose. I'm talking about them like they're pink colour. But um, yeah, they're kind of like a dirty rose colour, but they're kind of like a good neutral as well. They are just the softest little ankle boots ever. Great with pale denim, great with black denim, great with everything. Um, they'll be really cool in summer as well, little dresses, but um, they're just really comfortable. They're a bit more interesting than my standard black ankle boots, so I picked these up and yeah, they're really good. Cool, so last but not least, I thought I'd talk a bit about my hat collection because that is something that I have been growing over a while. Um, it's not, it's just I like wearing hats. and. Um, the two hats, well there's a few hats that kind of circulate and I always turn to. I haven't worn them as much recently because wind, you know, wind problems. But the two hats that I've kind of been wearing over and over again are firstly these ones. Um, these kind of style ones are from ASOS. I think they're a brand called Katazi. I probably pronounced that so, so wrong. But um, yeah, they do these amazing fedoras. They are not not too big, They're not. the brims are quite rock quite a good size. I definitely spoke about this before, but this burgundy one has been something I've been wearing a lot. I love it with um, black and white, and I love it with pastel pink at the moment as well, so that's a really nice combination. So these are great. I've also braved into like, the Baker Boy hat. This hat I bought just before Christmas. I wore it in a couple of my Edinburgh posts, um, and I'm still working out how I feel about it, but I think it's such a cool hat. I almost wish I could pull it off better or a bit more effortlessly because it is such a pull out when I put it on. I'm always like filling in my ears and all the rest of it. But I love these hats. They look really cool. I'm still working out whether it's a bit 2000 noughties kind of thing. But I'm going to keep wearing it. I'm going to see how I go. But the hat collection is another. another? <laughs> what happened there? Another part of my wardrobe. Um, and yeah, this hat is also lovely. Cool, so I really hope you've enjoyed my mini wardrobe tour video. If there's any other kind of more fashion or style videos you'd like me to do, whether that's, I don't know, a fashion Q&A or how I style certain items or mini lookbooks, let me know because I'm really enjoying talking about clothes more because I'm definitely a beauty novice. I'm, I, I love baking, but I'm not like a proper cook or anything. Um, so I feel I'm quite comfortable talking about clothes, which might be boring for some people. But yes, hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Also, Thank you to everyone who has subscribed because I noticed I hit 17,000 subscribers recently which is a bit weird, I know it's not like millions or hundreds of thousands but for me doing this as a little kind of thing it's really nice to kind of have people want to come back and see more and yeah it's a bit of pressure but no it's really, I really appreciate it so thank you very much if you've subscribed and yeah I will see you again next week.